So, all right, here I am hanging out with Klepto at the Troubadour in Los Angeles, California. They just did their show. So, listen, man, you guys are a strong DIY band. You guys got a lot of work ethic. You get out there and you do your thing. Um, you guys play lots of different places. How many gigs would you say that you did um, last year? Last year? Yeah. Like 200 maybe? 200 gigs? Damn. 200 gigs. And basically... Um, what types of venue do you guys play? Because I noticed that you play everywhere from barbecues to homeless shelters. Yeah, yeah we do. Absolutely. Anywhere. Yeah. Play, play in front of as many people as you can. That's it. That's I it. love it. The great, the great thing about punk rock and heavy metal is they pretty much will provide anywhere and anywhere. Music like, too. Yeah, but music too. But Alleyways, like neighborhoods, anywhere. I love it. If they want music, they will provide a place for you to play. I dig it. I dig it. Any of them. So let me ask you this also, like, how do you guys usually book your gigs? You get on the phone and you just say, hey, we are a band, we want to play? Yeah, send out a hundred emails, emails and a lot of emails. free responses. Yeah. Okay, good deal. And do you guys usually ask, you know, hey, can you guys throw us, like, maybe a small guarantee or can you guys give us a glass of water or when can you guys give doing, us a... Yeah, we yeah. first our thing we said, at least give us gas money and that's it. That's all we wanted. Uh -huh. we, you know, buy the cheapest food and don't eat as much as possible, basically. Right, just but, to kind of cut expenses, yeah, yeah. Right? right? But, I mean, the more you play, the more, you know, the more the venue's respected and they give you more as you go. So. I also notice you guys throw out the tip jar and you ask for everything from money to, like, cigarettes yeah, yeah, to condoms. condoms. <laughs> Someone gave us a pregnancy test once. <laughs> oh, my God, really? Um, that's great, man. I love it. And uh, so what are you guys traveling when you, get a, when you, when you kind of get a, around and about? Uh, we had How do you haul your gear? 940 con line with a trailer. Yep. And then we got a Dodge... Man, and then but right now we got a suburban kind of upgraded. It's nice. It's nice. So you guys, I hear you guys like literally rolled uh, your your van on the way to a gig and uh, pretty much just basically got a U-Haul truck and went to the gig anyway. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Fucking love it. I love it. Yeah. All right. It was very uncomfortable. There was four people in a three-seater van plus the dog. But um, we, survived. we had to make it to the last two shows of the tour, so we no, did what needed to be done. Nothing stops you. Valium and, <laughs> and on the way. I love it. I love it. Last thing, man. I, 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 you guys, man, you know, you put your music first, even so much so that, you know, you guys just try to cut expenses down and you live in your rehearsal room. Yeah. And, like, you know, you, you, you do gigs there and, you know, you basically, you know, record other bands in your, basically your rehearsal room slash recording studio, yeah. right? Yeah. Tell me about that, man. How do you guys feel doing that? It's, it's great, man. Like, we moved from the, we, we lived in a van first and then we moved into this recording studio and it's, it's, I mean, we're living our job and we're loving it. So, yeah. if you want to call it a job, people don't call it Love a job. It. It's just, it's really incredible that I can remember, you know, uh, maybe six, seven years ago, we were sitting in the in, in a basement at Philip and Freddie's house uh, in the middle of Canada during the winter, and basically we would draw pieces of paper saying, what, like, you know, what do we want to be doing in five, seven years? And a lot of those things that we would bring up randomly that we would just find them yeah. stuffed away we somewhere that list recently, yeah. would just be, you know, hey, start a recording studio, start a record label, have shows out of a venue. And that's start kind of what we're already... Whole, start a community, yeah, you know what whole, I mean? Surround yourself with people we're that not enjoy from your here, music. But. Nice. Yeah, surround your surround yourself with people that enjoy your music, yeah. that have the same attitude that you yeah. do. Band, a lot of and, bands. And um, you know, just you know, keep fucking have playing fun. no matter what. And have fun. And uh, you know, you know, five to seven years later, here we are, and that's exactly what we're doing. So you guys, what do you have to say to all the the, the artists out there that basically want to go from zero to Dr. Dre, so to speak? You know, it's um, not gonna happen. Tell me about your work ethic. What what drives you? What motivates you? And what do you got to say to those guys that just want it to happen overnight? Number one, uh, you know, your music is something valuable because it is something that comes out of you and it is art. Uh, never sell yourself short. Always ask for some little bit of money because you fucking deserve it for driving out there and doing anything. Uh, and number two, play everywhere and everywhere all the time. It's not going to happen overnight. Especially, no. like, and nowadays it's just... Record labels aren't really doing much. They got their own pop thing going. And if you want to do be original and be yourself, you gotta play it as much as possible. You have to convince people that no matter you know, what, you have to convince people that you're fucking worth it. Yeah. And you gotta put, you gotta be willing to put in the time, right? It's all time. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't Running happen overnight. Time, yeah. No weekend warriors, right? No, it's not all right, brothers. Thanks, man. It's, on, let me let me fucking get this. All right, man. So peace, man. Hanging with the uh, hang with the boys backstage, man. Where, where are you guys going next? Uh, back to the studio after the party. Ah, fucking, there you go, man. I love it. Take care, you guys. Later.